Hello. <clears throat> today is... What's the day today? Today... It's November. November 2nd, 2020. Day before election. I'm hoping for a Trump landslide. But we'll see what happens. Um, today I'm going to read... Acts chapter 4. Today I'm going to try to also try to buy a van. Because as you know, my van was stolen. And then the red truck was smashed into and totaled. Not really totaled, it's just more damage than the truck is worth. So, anyway. I'm going to read the word now. Acts chapter 4. While Peter and John were speaking to the people, Jewish priests... The captains of the soldiers that guarded the temple and Sadducees, Sadducees came up to them. They were upset because the two apostles were teaching the people and were preaching that people will rise from the dead through the power of Jesus. The Jewish leaders grabbed Peter and John and put them in jail. <clears throat> Since it was already night, they kept them in jail until the next day. But many of those who had heard Peter and John preach believed the things that they said. There were now about 5,000 in the group of believers. The next day, the Jewish rulers, the older Jewish leaders, and the t teachers of the law met in Jerusalem. Annas, the high priest, Caiaphas, John, and Alexander were there, <clears throat> as well as everyone from the high priest's family. They made Peter and John stand before them and then asked them, by what power or authority did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and you older leaders, are you questioning us about a good thing that was done to a crippled man? Are you asking us who made him well? We want all of you and all of the Jewish people to know that this man was made well by the power of Jesus Christ from Nazareth. You crucified him, but God raised him from the dead. This man was crippled, but he is now well and able to stand here before you because of the power of Jesus. Jesus is the stone that you builders rejected, which has become the cornerstone. <clears throat> Jesus is the only one who can save people. His name is the only power in the world that has been given to save people. We must be saved through him. Ju the Jewish leaders saw that Peter and John were not afraid to speak, and they understood that these men had no special training or education, so they were amazed. Then they realized... But Peter and John had been with Jesus. Because they saw the healed man standing there beside the two apostles, they could say nothing against them. After the Jewish leaders ordered them to leave the meeting, they began to talk to each other. They said, What shall we do with these men? Everyone in Jerusalem knows they have done a great miracle, and we cannot say it is not true. But to keep it from spreading among the people, we must warn them not to talk to people anymore using that name. <clears throat> So they called Peter and John in again and told them not to speak or to teach at all in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered them, You decide what God would want. Should we obey you or God? We cannot keep quiet. We must speak about what we have seen and heard. The Jewish leaders warned the apostles again and let them go free. They could not find a way to punish them because all of the people were praising God for what had been done. The man who received the miracle of the healing was more than 40 years old. After Peter and John left the meeting of the Jewish leaders, they went to their own group and told them everything the, leader, the leading priests and the older Jewish leaders had said to them. When the believers heard this, they prayed to God together. <clears throat> Lord, you are the one who made the sky, the earth, the sea, and everything in them. By the Holy Spirit, through our father David, your servant, you said, Why are the nations so angry? Why are the people making useless plans? 
The kings of the earth prepare to fight, and their leaders make plans together against the Lord and his Christ. These things really happened when Herod, Pontius Pilate, those who are not Jews, and the Jewish people all came together against Jesus here in Jerusalem. Jesus is your holy servant, the one you made to be the Christ. These people made your plan happen because of your power and your will. And now, Lord, listen to their threats. Lord, help us, your servants, to speak your word without fear. Help us to be brave by showing us your power to heal. Give proofs and make miracles. And make miracles happen by the power of Jesus, your holy servant. After they had prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and they spoke God's word without fear. The group of believers were united in their hearts and spirit. All those in the group acted as though they had their private property belonged to everyone in the group. In fact, they shared everything. With great power, the apostles were telling people the Lord Jesus was truly raised from the dead. And God blessed all the believers very much. No one in the group needed anything. From time to time, those who owned fields or houses sold them, brought the money, and gave it to the apostles. Then the money was given to anyone who needed it. One of the believers was named Joseph, a Levite born in Cyprus. The apostles called him Barnabas, which means one who encourages. Joseph owned a field, sold it, brought the money, and gave it to the apostles. The end of chapter 4, the book of Acts. God bless you.